explore the world so you can appreciate things that exist and matters of life and you get to know that life is not done in a specific one way you can challenge the way people eat the food different weather climate nature animals festivals celebration religion you name it but if you don't get a chance to travel i'm here to show you some of my experiences that always blows my mind today i'm taking you to an ethiopian orthodox celebration and i'm happy my sister to have gotten a chance to see how different life can be ethiopia is a neighboring country to kenya but you wouldn't think until you come over here to see how we both do life very different i'm excited for you to enjoy on this new episode hi guys so it's a beautiful day today i am well dressed heading to church because it's saint michael's day today is a monday morning around 7 30 a.m and we are heading for the celebration of the saint michael that a very good friend has invited us now as many places in the world around 7 30 a.m you'll find most people are reporting to work but this is the current state of things on a monday that has a celebration that is not a declared holiday celebration for the whole country but according to different churches for example today saint michael celebration i'll tell you more about it as we continue in the video but what is interesting is people are reporting and going to work some but some are dressed fully in the ethiopian dress and covered in uh, the scarf heading all the way to the church now for you to attend the church you have to be covered in a scarf and that's why you see i am also covered in a scarf excited to go and experience this celebration for the first time and uh, just suppose you're not well equipped in terms of having the scarf or maybe the cross or the candle to lit while in the celebration you'll find people selling close to the church uh so that shouldn't be a uh, worry you know but come prepared we've arrived at jemo michael church our church of choice to celebrate saint michael <laughs> moment of confession because ethiopia is part of the horn of africa and majority of other horn of african countries are muslim i used to think ethiopian majority are muslim not saying there are no good percentage of muslim but the leading percentage in ethiopia is actually christianity and uh, the orthodox christianity now service proceeds as i perceive to be usual with prayers bending singing but allow me to take you through some of my highlights for this day which entails being able to witness or to see the temple of saint michael now for a hint if you do not know what saint michael means it's saint michael is a saint and in the orthodox christianity they celebrate saints just a good simple example would be how other christians including the orthodox celebrate jesus jesus christ I hope that gives you a perspective otherwise please come or if you are orthodox believer you can give us more details but it was interesting and humbling to see people being committed to come and give praise and to worship and to to just dedicate their time uh in the presence of god so let me also know in the comment section down below what is your opinion on faith based issues religion and stuff like this anyway but this was fascinating for me to see because in my country i barely have seen people this dedicated to god on a weekday i would say yeah so let me show you my highlights <laughs> Yeah, 
for the temple to pass. like me and you don't know or did not know what was actually happening over here it is the making of the way for the temple to pass through and uh, these are people singing in preparation for the temple being carried behind as you're going to see and this rotation will go behind the church up to three times so thus this ceremony started like at 8 a.m and it's gonna end at midday as people are celebrating saint michael and to make it clear it is in all churches in ethiopia that this celebration is happening any church as long as it's called saint michael orthodox church
the temple all around the church and this was like a place that was to help save the heat from people because it was pretty sunny but if you get tired of this gathering though there is enjoyment singing you can gather up outside where there are other more people singing as you'll see in the course of the video I hope you enjoyed this new experience that I recommend anyone, whether you are of this religion or any other, or not even into religion things, that you ever at least attend once in your life. Otherwise, always, always remember to pay time for that to ignite your soul. Until next time, bye. <laughs>